갑자기 내게 나타나준 너난 아무 말도 할 수가 없었지 첫눈에 반한다는 이야기가 People, welcome back to my YouTube channel How are you doing? Today is another beautiful day And I hope by the grace of God you're doing great I just want to appreciate you all Thank you for all the stuff stopping by to watch my video I want to appreciate my returning subscribers Thank you so much. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. And to the new members, you're welcome to Unique Family. Thank you so much for being a part of Unique Family. You are blessed. Thank you so much. Today is another beautiful day. And we are grateful to God Almighty for being alive to see this great thing. I'm a quick one. I just want to drop a quick one. And I really want to talk to singles. Single in the house, just make a joyful noise. to singles you know potential wife to be tomorrow it might be a wife to somebody i want to talk to you i saw a post on facebook hmm, that um it really touched me she was like um, um i have been with this guy for five years yeah she said five years and at the end of everything she he left me for another woman you know, when you are in a relationship with somebody, somebody's son, you are in a relationship with somebody's son, one year in that relationship, hmm, you did not ask the guy, what are we doing for him to define the relationship, for you to know your stand. And bear it in mind that not all relationship ends in marriage. Bear it in mind. Those days as a single girl, I, I have that at the back of my mind. Anything I'm doing with you, it must not end in marriage. I'm like you as a person. I'm like your personality. I'm like everything about you. But I wouldn't like to end up in marriage with you. That is another thing. So, whatever thing you're doing with somebody, just bear it in mind that it mustn't. It is not a must that it will end in marriage. So, relationship, I just give and take. You give me, I give you. You take, I take. You give me, I give you. That is it. But when you are relationship, you are, when you are in a relationship with somebody, try to define that relationship to know what you are doing with the person. Define it. Tell the person. Ask him that question. What are we doing? What am I to you? What are we doing? Know what you guys are doing, and keep your mind open. Have an open mind. Have an open mind. Don't tie yourself with somebody. When they're born, you know the when they're born ago. I, I, I listened to, she was saying that she's in a relationship with this guy for five years and at the end of it, the guy dumped her for another woman and she was running courses on that guy. Seriously. Did he tell you that he's going to marry you? That is number one question. What is your relationship like? Did he define it? Did he tell you anything? That is one thing that young girls don't do. When you're in a relationship with somebody, one year down the line, ask the person, what are we doing? Let he or she define the relationship. All my relationship I had during my days as a youth. Six months, hey brother, somebody's son, what are we doing? I want to know. Let me know. I just want to keep open mind. And when I see a potential suitor, handsome, good-looking young man that got caught my eyes, you know, I move on and you move on. We separate in peace without nobody cursing each other. But young girls of nowadays, immediately they meet a man they feel they like, they just relax without the guy defining what they are doing. Without the guy telling them what they are doing. You have to define your relationship with anybody you're in a relationship with. Define it to know what you are doing. Not at the end of it, you say you break your heart. I said that they break hearts. You did not define it. The guy didn't say anything to you. If he calls that guy, you know, go walk home. Now just give and take on a day. You are just doing give and take. Because he didn't define it, he didn't say anything to you. And you know, some somebody's son. They can be mean and wicked. Some somebody's son. 
they will just hold somebody's daughter. And they are holding you there. Now, so that they make you both spiritual and physical. You understand what I'm saying? And most of the girls will even do abortion for a young guy. Somebody that has not said to you, I will marry you. Somebody that has not even defined the relationship. Somebody you don't know what you're even doing with. Why can't you control yourself and hold yourself? At the end of it, this girl said that she has done abortion for this guy three times. That um, he has he has helped this guy. That he has do this. He has do that. Did he define the relationship? That's the question. Did he tell you that he is going to marry you? Did he say anything to you that will make you to hold tight with this guy and stay up to this amount of years you stayed with him? That is the question. We just have to define what we are doing. Define it. Know what this guy wants from you. If it's give and take, you know it's give and take. And you be conscious of yourself and know what you're doing. You hold yourself. And be open-minded. Be available for another suitor to come. Be available to, to welcome anybody from East, West, North and South. You know what I'm saying? I know that somebody's son is somewhere eyeing you. That is one thing about young girls nowadays. We use our husband as our boyfriend. And our boyfriend as our husband. In the name of relationship. Trying to say. Define your relationship. Because... To avoid a story that touches the heart, though, define it. Know what you're doing with the guy. Know what you're doing. And some guys are wicked. Some men, some somebody's son, they are very wicked. I'm not going to lie to you. So somebody's son will hold somebody's daughter. Eh? Some of them will even promise their marriage that they are going to marry them. At the end of it, they will tell you that, oh, you are not what they want. Maybe they have done, they, 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 you have done abortion like countless times for them. You have done so many things with them. And at the end of it, they will tell you, you are not what they want. That you are not good enough. This and this, that and that. I keep telling young girls. Eh? I'm not saying have 20 boyfriend, have 50 boyfriend. No, that is not the, well, that is not the, 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 the direction I'm going to. What I am saying is that when you are in a relationship with somebody, try to define that relationship. Try to know what you and that person is doing. And when you see that this relationship is undefinable, that the guy is not saying anything, and you don't know your stand in the relationship, please keep open-minded. Just be open. And be, be open to welcome a good person in your life. I didn't mean double dates. Be open, open-minded to welcome somebody, a good person, another somebody, son that knows your value, that knows what you want in your life. Another thing, some guests will be in a relationship, eh? And the guy, the guy will practically turn into their parents, doing everything for them. Now your papa. At the end of the whole thing, maybe the guy feels that. When he gets married to you, that the load eh, will be too much on him. He will carry your own load, carry your generation old, uh, load, carry your village people load. It would be like, oh, I'm not cut off for this. So guess has made relationship to be as if the guy is their parents. The guy go pay school fees. The guy go pay this. The guy go pay that. The guy go pay this. Now your papa. What's it happen? It's just give and take that you guys are doing. He's not even yet married to you. When he's married to you, that means he will carry the load of your village people on his head. Look with the fear God small. Look with fear God. Make with fear God. Young girls, potential wives to be, I'm talking to you. Listen to me, you watching me. Know what you are doing. Know what you are doing. Now somebody's son be that you say will be somebody's other. And some girls are mean. Seriously, boys and girls nowadays, potential husband, potential wives, when are they mean these days? Yeah. Seriously. When you go to the internet, you keep hearing stories, and you will be like, what is really happening? What is going on? Can you hear them? What thing they saw? What thing they happen? What thing they saw? What thing they happen? What is going on? And that is what they call karma. Karma is a bitch. And when it gets to you, it's really deal with you. Young girls, potential wives, potential husband, 
You should be careful. Hmm? Be careful. Don't joke with somebody's hands. Don't toy so don't toy with somebody's hands. Believing, okay, I am I am bigger than you in one word or other. I can intimidate you or do or I'll do anything to you and get away with it. Life is not like that. That's what they call repercussion. That's what they call karma. That's what they call nemesis. It will surely cut up to you. Hmm? Let's be careful and have women human conscience and know that you're dealing with your fellow human being, flesh and blood, running through that person's being. Let's be careful. Potential wife, potential husband, boyfriend and girlfriend in relationship, define it and know what you're doing with that guy. Not at the end of the day, you say you don't break your heart, it don't hurt you, hurt your feelings, it don't kill you, you can't just swear for them. And see, brother, that's where you're not going to work because you did not define it. Define your relationship and know your stand in your relationship. I'll be drawing the curtain close here. And this video is going to have part two. Part two, episode two. Just hold on for the part two. And before I do that, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel? Don't you like this beautiful Chikala sitting before you? Come on, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be a part of this family. Mm? God bless you. Thank you so much. See you in my next one. Love you. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Do you want to know?